Ever since Governor Gretchen Whitmer released her stay at home executive order yesterday, we've gotten a lot of questions about who exactly is an essential employee. Fox 47's Kellen Buddy talked with an attorney to get some answers. I'm certain there's a, there's a little bit of confusion, even within some businesses, certain services may be essential, whereas other services may not. Governor Whitmer's executive order tells people to stay home if their work is not necessary to sustain or protect life. There are a lot of businesses that fall within the exception to the rule. Healthcare, food service, uh, infrastructure, necessities of life, so you would expect that our pharmacies are open, the grocery stores are going to be maintained. Booth says you have the legal right to stay home from work if your employer doesn't meet the definition of essential in the order. If you believe that your employer is requiring you to come in to work in violation of the order, number one, you should protect yourself. Number two, if it doesn't fit in with the uh, exact parameters of the, of the order, then I think you have a legitimate basis to stay home. Abood says if you lose your job or face other retaliation, it's best to go to the authorities. It's a crime to violate the order. And if somebody isn't in compliance, those complaints can be filed with the attorney general or the executive branch, and I suspect that they'll be investigated. Kellen Buddy, Fox 47 News. For those who do get laid off or furloughed, Abood says they might be able to delay mortgage, rent, or loan payments. He says the coronavirus pandemic is considered an act of God, and in some cases, that could waive any payments that you might not be able to make. Governor Whitmer's stay-at-home order runs through April 13th. You can read it in full on our website, fox47news.com, and on the Fox 47 app.